In this video, we're going to go through enterograde memory and retrograde memory. Enterograde memory is the ability to form new long-term memories after an event. This event could refer to an accident or operation. So when they refer to an accident, this would be, for instance, a car accident or some sort of traumatic event. The operation could be brain surgery. So after the event would be after the car accident, they are still able to form new long-term memories. Someone with enterograde amnesia has lost this ability. So they are unable to transfer new information from short-term memory to long-term memory after the event. A famous example of this is Henry Moliason. Henry Moliason had both of his medial temporal lobes removed to treat severe epilepsy when he was young. After the surgery, he was no longer able to commit new information to explicit memory. So this is anterograde amnesia. Now, one thing to note is that amnesia is actually pretty complex. So it's rare that someone is going to have complete amnesia. So for example, while Henry Moliason was unable to form new explicit memory, he was able to recall information before the surgery and he was still able to learn through his implicit memory. In subsequent videos, we'll discuss the difference between explicit and implicit memory. Retrograde memory is the ability to retrieve information that was acquired before an event. So your memories before an accident or operation. If someone has retrograde amnesia, then they are unable to recall information before an event. So this would be a situation where someone gets in a car accident and is not able to remember who they are. They cannot remember their personal information and they cannot remember their childhood experiences. This would be retrograde amnesia. 